The anode rays were found to possess some properties which were quite similar to those of cathode rays. For example, they travel in straight line. They are deflected by magnetic and electric field. Only the direction of deflection is opposite to that of cathode rays. Since cathode rays are composed of negatively charged electrons and anode rays are composed of positively charged photons. They produce mechanical and heating effect and they also affect photographic plates. Now, F. W. Aston, the one who discovered the mass spectrograph, as we mentioned earlier, observed that the mass of an oxygen atom was about 16 times larger than the proton. Following Rutherford's discovery of the nucleus and Mosley's investigation of the atomic number, it was clear that the nucleus of oxygen only contained eight positive charges. Where the rest of the mass of the atom came from was resolved by James Chadwick, who discovered the neutrons. The reason why it took so long to show the presence of neutrons was their lack of charge. This means that the neutrons would not show up in Aston's mass spectrograph. Now let us see how Chadwick discovered neutrons. In his experiment, Ch Chadwick used a thin sheet of beryllium. He placed a source of alpha particles on one end of the sheet and a detector on the other end of the sheet. He bombarded the beryllium sheet with alpha particles and found that a beam of very high energy radiations were emitted on the other side. These, uh, the component particle of these radiations were electrically neutral and did not discharge charged electroscope. Chadwick termed these particles as neutrons.